Thank you so much, Premier. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the Right Honourable the Lord Mayor of Brisbane, Councillor Graham Quirk. Well, thank you very much, Pip. To the uh, traditional custodians, ladies and gentlemen, I pay my respects to the elders, both past and present. Uh, to the Honourable uh, Campbell Newman, Premier of Queensland, and Lisa, uh, if I can depart and acknowledge uh, the Honourable Sir Lou Ellen Edwards, uh, uh, AC, former Chairman and CEO of Expo, and Lady Jane Edwards, to Lady Mayoress Anne Quirk, to Councillor Matthew Burke, Councillor Andrew Rowan Taylor, Councillor Andrew Wines, Councillor Fiona King, Councillor Vicky Howard, uh, to the Expo 88 Anniversary Committee, to the Consular Corps, and His Excellency, a welcome to you this morning as well, and to all of you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for being part of this ceremony. I just want to echo the Premier's comments that this is overdue. Uh, there is absolutely no doubt that World Expo 88 was a game changer for this city. This was an event which took Brisbane from the proverbial big country town to the thriving metropolis that we are today. And that 18 million people that visited Expo during that six month period really went through a transformational awakening. Uh, and it was good for our city. And out of it, you might all recall the term that uh, became an endearment uh, out of that longer than an Expo queue. Uh, this city didn't know about queuing before Expo 88 came along. Uh, and it was another awakening for us as part and parcel of what was a wonderful international gathering, a flavour which was just an outstanding event for this city. And when we look back and we think about it, um, that site was just an old rundown industrial site and Expo 88 was very much part of the bicentennial celebrations for Australia. I want to today though um, pay a very big debt of thanks to Sir Lou Edwards for chairing uh, that, uh, th that event, for being CEO of that event, for taking what was a derelict site and transforming it and turning it into a site which we all enjoy. From the chicken dance right through, uh, there was something spectacular every single day. The, the fantastic uh, the street uh, displays and uh, parades, uh, we all recall the wonderful memories. But today I just wanted to uh, say a little bit about um, that event itself. At the opening ceremony, um, World Expo 88, Salou, um, in addressing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who formerly opened Expo, said this. He said, on behalf of all the Expo family, we are grateful for the privilege of being part of this great challenge. And I hope that over the next 184 days, that all the world will be influenced by the goodwill, the cooperation, and the benefits of World Expo 88. And of course, it captured them in a saying, together we'll show the world. And Salu and your committee you certainly did. It was a, an expo which had a theme, um, and that theme was leisure in the age of technology. It could well be as relevant today, so, uh, but of course that was the theme for World Expo. I want to tell you a little about Salu Edwards himself. Uh, I have his birth date here, and that will remain a secret between <laughs> Salu and myself. There's some things that you just don't share, Salu, but, but I want to recount that Lou Edwards started his working life as an electrician in the family business. And uh, after a period of hospitalisation, he decided on a career change, and that was to the world of medicine. He, uh, went to university, became a doctor, served uh, in a medical practice in Ipswich, and then of course entered Parliament in 1972. He became Health Minister in 1974 and served in that role to 1978. He became Deputy Premier and Treasurer of Queensland, which he held from 1978 to 1983. And then 
Of course, there was World Expo 88. But life did not finish there for Salou because he then went on in 1993 where he was elected the 12th Chancellor for the University of Queensland and held that office until the 9th of February 2009. In 1984, uh, Salou was made a Knight Bachelor and in 1989, a Companion of the Order of Australia. And so today it is, as the Premier said, a very fitting tribute to a man who has made such a tremendous contribution, not only in heading Expo 88, which we recognise today, but a far broader uh, contribution to Queenslanders as a whole. So today, Salou, to you and your committee of Expo 88, we pay tribute and thanks. Thank you, Lord Mayor. It now gives me great pleasure to invite Sir Louis to it. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, just give us a second while I navigate my way down here. Uh, Greg, good morning. Good morning. Beautiful morning in Adelaide uh, and uh, we're here uh, in the fabrication room uh, and yesterday you saw Liam grinding this particular piece um, and it's a suitable piece to be discussing the methods of the making of continuous division. Uh, Greg, if you can just go through the welding, the grinding, the welding, the grinding process, um, and just uh, as to uh, how and where it fits into the manufacturing yeah, process. Yeah, well, this is quite similar really to uh, the way continuous division would have been constructed. So what I use is a fabricating technique. Um, it's been around for really, actually about the 1920s it started out of interest. It was actually